Click the link below for a 30 day free trial of Audible. Yo! So today we have a really weird and interesting case. So for those that don't know, manga leaks are a huge thing within the anime and manga community. Now specifically for Jujutsu Kaisen, they typically come out now uh, Wednesday nights from about 9 p.m. to about 3 a.m. depending on the day. Now about a month or so ago, there was a huge debacle where the Japanese police actually had a whole board of all these different leakers. I believe TCB scans was there, Maya Mora was there, and a couple couple other things like they literally quite literally caught Maya in 4k with like his uh, RIP Gojo tweet and the, the, the one that got like a hundred K likes in like under two minutes but like, they got everything Maya ended up changing his Twitter handle and all these different things and like I believe TCB last week their Twitter account got taken down so with the whole manga lease going on it, the community is kind of nervous a lot of security measures are being taken into considering that this is Piracy? It's kind of ironic. Now, here's the thing is that, yes, piracy is bad. YouTube, yes, piracy is bad. But the thing is, is that this is not affecting the majority of the sales for a lot of these manga things. I mean, JJK has 90 million copies in circulation at this time. They're fine. Believe me, I think people are more than happy to stick with these TCB scans rather than John Wary doing... Uh, <laughs> bro, just go ahead and lock John Rary up for domestic terrorism. I mean, bro, what is this? Apparently, Gojo can use curse spirit manipulation. I had no idea. I'm not a real JJK scholar. But as we come to today, we have a very interesting thing that came out. So actually, someone posted it and sent it to me. And right here, we have a list of leakers, their countries of origin, and apparently their payment methods as well. So someone actually went ahead and translated some of this from Japanese to English uh, from the leak that was sent out. And here, like number one, we have uh, Maya and his Twitter handle. Then we have this other guy, like Rayuga and all these different people. I believe it was like what? I believe seven people here were listed. Now, obviously, if you're a leaker and you're seeing this, you would be freaking out, as as you should be. Also, don't get it misconstrued. This is not going to turn to like an international incident, and Maya is not going to be arrested. They're probably just going to like delete and like uh, possibly sue. I don't really know. Uh, but like, no one's going to come across state and country lines to go find Maya. And we're like, hey, yeah, these other people that don't live in Japan. It's not that serious. It's Japanese comic books. Well, yes, yeah, certain legal litigation could happen. And these people are facing prison time. Well, I say that, but I guess if you live in Japan, it's a possibility. <laughs> So obviously this morning, everyone and their mother was freaking out saying it's over, what's gonna happen? But then actually we look and this account by the name of Sandman AP, who allegedly is well-renowned in the manga leak community, was saying that, and I quote, what appears to be an investigative document about spoiler leakers in cir is circulating on Twitter, but the Japanese language using the document is somewhat unnatural, so I consider it to be fake. Now, do I know this guy? Absolutely not, uh, but that is, raising the question, who even got this leak? Who even got this document? Now, could it be done as a joke to scare somebody? Absolutely. Uh, it would even have people in the comments here saying, I'm gonna say Manga FA lives in Spain or Portugal. Pew is either Lembadon or Jordan. He moves since then. Spoiler Plus is in Japan. So people are pointing out inaccuracies in this document. Now, here's the thing. This could be legitimate. This could not. I have no idea. But I honestly don't think that these leaks are going to be stopping anytime soon. Here's the thing. We have seven people here that allegedly have gotten their information put out there and allegedly these leaks might stop coming from these people, but it's going to be virtually impossible to hold a monopoly on leaks like this. That like people would be foaming at the mouth trying to become the next Maya, uh, the next Ryuga X or in all these different things. So I, I, I truly don't think that the leak community is in any, any danger or anything like that. Again, I don't advocate for piracy, but I, I'd be turned into Blackbeard for some leaks. I'm just saying. All in all, pretty short video, but I think this situation is kind of a nothing burger potentially. I mean, like even if these people like get their accounts clapped and all these type of things, I mean, I doubt that legal litigation would happen, but we'll see, right? So don't worry, the feds are coming after these people or anything. Worst case, like I said, they get a super small like civil suit or possibly their just accounts get deleted, but the leaks are still gonna come in. So I don't really think that anybody should worry or anything like that. And also, I mean, if the leaks end up due to getting taken care of, I mean, we just gotta wait till the official translation. But people also gotta understand that leak culture has been around since like the mid 90s. <laughs> like someone posted like this like ancient scan of 
OG Naruto. It was like the the fight against Kabuto, and like I've never seen this skin before in my life. This had to be from like 04 or 05. Like this was not a Viz translation. Uh, but anyway, I, I just I don't think it's that serious. So yeah, quick real quick video today. Uh, I will see you next time. Bye.